Mm -hmm. Um, I know Pexu does play a jungle gladiator, but seeing that they have Parasite, that's not the reason why. But still, Gladiator is probably one of the strongest heroes in terms of team fighting right now, just because of his ulti, mitigating so much damage for such a decent time um, in the team fights. And it's really easy to get off even if they go on you. So it can definitely be the difference in a team fight, which is why I think they're banning it out. So. Um, uh, five seconds, five seconds. Um, I could. Uh, he only has to share farm, really, with one hero, which is Parasite, which uh, isn't that bad. Parasite can find his farm. Uh, they pick up Mage Bane, though. Uh, kind of the same concept as Clanks, where you want to farm as much as possible and get that really good start and then continue to split push. But against the Hellborn lineup, I'm not sure about this, just because they have a Behemoth Lodestone Sand, right? Those heroes can shut down, really, any carry if they connect with their ultimates. Um, but I guess that's why they do have the Andromeda for swapping them out of like Behe ulti, Lowstone ulti, and whatnot. So, yeah. Have to see how it plays out, though. Let's see here as well. Voodiester is right clicked once again, but it's probably not going to be their type of hero. Solstice is right clicked now as well. Let's see. Mage Bane on the Legion side, as you were talking about as well. Yeah, I, I don't feel the synergy between him and Andromeda. I feel like it's like completely wrong. Because of, uh -huh. like, if you have a Clanks, for example, and you swap him out, he can start doing out attack damage from his position. But Mage Bane kind of like, he's a melee hero, so if you swap him out, he's not going to deal any damage. And yep. who's going to deal damage in the late game if that's the case? Like, you simply don't have a, an answer for that. There's nobody else in the Legion team that has any physical damage. So, yeah, I'm really worried for the Legion side. I feel like they have to dominate, like, at an early game and actually make something happen before Lozon and Behemoth gets their pull key. Otherwise, it's going to be um, quite troublesome on their part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they pick up the South Forest. Um, being a, a single core lineup on the Legion team, South Forest is going to be really good against the Mage Bane. Uh, basically, once you ult him, if he is relying on life steal eventually later in the game, or even if he is like you know at, at like half health or whatnot, then it's going to force him to not be able to fight for that you know that duration of the ulti, which actually does last for a very long time. Sitting at, I'm not sure. I think it's like maybe 10 seconds. Mm, not entirely sure yeah i mean yeah it's probably around that time at least it should be yeah, so i i mean it's it basically makes your carry not be able to fight for that amount of time which gives them such a huge advantage especially because they already do have a better team fight seeing that they do have the lowest of the behemoth okay let's see here legion team moving towards their own forest uh, kind of split so far magma's picking up the marchers by the way First item here, um, going up versus the Sandref and the Empath, of course, is probably going to have quite a troublesome time, especially when there's nobody that can actually pull his lane back, such as a War Beast or a Wild Soul or something similar. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I expect him to struggle a lot, and at the same time, we see Behemoth down here for the Hellborn side, so he also picks up the Marchers. Um, not entirely sure if that's what we usually see for Behemoth Suicide. Um, it depends on what you're leaning against. Against an Andromeda Mage Bane, it's alright. Um, they're always a good pickup, I think, as long as you get pooled some regen, because you want to have a mana pot or two to be able to block the wave, obviously, which is what you're going to see Slaska doing here, but... Yeah, let's see. I mean, this happens so much in TMM as well, uh, that people are just 
like, I don't know, they always tend to fail with the blocks. Like, I don't think that anyone really has a clear answer to when do you actually block. Do you block all the creeps? I mean, I'm watching Slasky here, so he is a very experienced and probably one of the better suicide heroes in the game. So I'm going to see if he's going to mm -hmm. use the block one more time. I would assume so, seeing as he's popping his yeah. mana pot here. So for everyone playing Behemoth of Suicide in TMM, please copy this, because for some reason my Behemoth of Suicide, who's in my team, is always level 1 5 minutes into the game. <laughs> The grief. Yeah, obviously it's not that much of a problem nowadays because there is a Merrick's bounty, like the most, I don't know, unbalanced hero or imbalanced freaking item in the game. It's total <laughs> bullshit in my opinion, but hey, at least it's Can only a TMM. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's not talk about a Merrick's bounty. It's not available in competitive, guys. It's not available in tournament roles. We got Lodestone versus Hellbringer in the mid. What do we think about that matchup? Um, Hellbringer should have a better time here, just seeing that he is... Uh, D600 range hero and Lodestone is gonna do all right just because of those Lodestone plates, and really just needs to you know try and get as much farm as possible out of this lane without putting himself in danger of the parasite ganks. But as you can see, Hellbring is just gonna put out a lot of harass on him, uh, whether it's using spells or just auto attacks. So. Yep, and we see up here at the top lane as well, Magmus, he desperately needs level 2 so that he can actually take cover or uh, that he can actually disjoint the um, essence link. Or maybe it doesn't help to disjoint it actually, but at least he can't out attack him at the same time. Uh, with mm -hmm. SDSD, yeah, he's gonna be forced back and he's used up all his regions, so really struggling. At least last get it down at um, the bottom, got level 2 now, but he's struggling at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um... As you can see, Pexu's in the jungle. Uh, none of his camps seem to be blocked. Uh, one of the wards was left at the two-minute rune by uh, Slaske, and hmm. Why is uh, that? South Forest is... Is it to trick your opponent that you have actually placed it and make <clears> him <throat> like, waste his counter ward? Um, I think that's why he he walked up there around, like uh, I think, like 30, 40 seconds into the game. So I think he's going to pick it up now and possibly block a camp, or he's just going to lay it as a rune ward. But seeing as they have one top, I don't, I don't necessarily think he should have laid it as a rune ward. I think he should have blocked one of the parasite camps because they already do have one at top rune. So, but yeah, you would regardless, so. it'll it'll keep him safe from the parasite ganks. So, yeah, Tell took by the way playing the self fours didn't speak or haven't talked too much about him so far, but he seems to be doing a decent job. Two hundred and sixty gold per minute, and he's gonna find a real rune here. Invisibility, maybe not the best or maybe not the optimal rune for. A self forest this early on into the game or at all actually, but uh, at least he's gonna be able to get his bottle refilled and a lot of region coming his way. How much I like? I don't know if you have too much experience with the Lord Self Forest. I know that uh, what you got in your team, uh, mm -hmm. place it from time to time. And uh, I mean, what kind of what can we expect from a Lord Self Forest? Like I, I asked him the same question. Like what kind of game style or like what kind of play style do you usually expect to play with Lord Self Forest? Or why do you pick this hero up? Yeah, um, so basically, Self Forest is, I guess, one of the more passive junglers. Um, he's used, he's picked up just to counter like a single core lineup, such as the Legion lineup with just Mage Bane. And basically, his job this game is to get an ulti off on the Mage Bane and put as much damage into him as he can. So I think what most Self Forest do, or what uh, what you got usually does, is he goes Tablet of Command after he finishes his boots. Uh, he goes Boots, Chalice, Tablet of Command, and then. Uh, either a shrunken head or a uh, sheep stick, actually, just to be able to lock down the uh, carry. So. Yeah, I think we saw that uh, during first day's game in the relegation match. There was, I think it was fine playing uh, for Mystery Gang that played the Sal Forest. He picked up a sheep stick and he just took over the game completely. He was up to mm -hmm. 550, almost 600 gold per minute, playing it fantastically. So I'm definitely on board with you. I would assume that he's going for that a little bit more mobility route. And with the lockdown as well, as we see mid lane being jumped. No Shatterstorm available quite yet, but why does that even matter when Slash is going to come in as well with the Fisher? And there goes the first blood in favor of different guy. Yep. I mean, nice play by them. Good rotations from uh, Bunny Lover along with Slaske. So making a kill happen, which is really crucial to slowing down Hellbringer in his uh, good early start. So. Yeah, Lodestone is level 6 now as well, so he got a Shatterstorm. Uh, could potentially set up another kill now when Hellbringer is back. I mean, Hellbringer himself is not level 6, so he needs to be careful. He doesn't have Marchers either. He's going for... And Stream says snowy volume is kind of lower than Fuzzy. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, 
I'm just gonna lower it a little bit then. Like we had, we'll we checked this one. Yeah, we checked this out. Yeah, we checked it out uh, like 30 minutes before. Exactly, minutes before. and it was perfect <laughs> at that point. So I'm not entirely sure how the hell I can be the one that's lower now. I guess I'm just gonna have to speak up a little bit as well. But all right, uh, Lord Salforce at least up at the top. He's dropping relatively low here, taking the tri stack. But he's paying like he is 320 gold per minute and mm -hmm. doing a fantastic job, like out farming the parasite even. I guess that's to ex be expected now. I'm not entirely sure. But parasite so far like. Y Normally you want to be very aggressive with this hero early on, you want to set up kills, and so far like they haven't really been able to do anything. Not that I blame them, it's just their synergy or the heroes. Oh, Shadowstorm activated in the middle, they're not gonna jump. Hellbringer, he's in trouble, and here is Slaska Jared with a well-placed Fisher once more, gonna secure the kill. Needs to be Here's careful like though. Him. Yeah, the leech, I think this is going to be enough for the counter kill, unless Semmer, of course, get the slow off. Oh my god, beautiful in range there from Slaska Jared as well. Doesn't have another Fisher, but might be enough anyway to at least get a return kill onto Parasite. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, the synergy for the Hellborn team just seems so much superior to the Legion team at this point. Mm -hmm. Good rotations. Obviously, they have the Sandwraith ultimate because he just hit six as that fight was uh, about to start. So, good, good uh, notice by Probus to TP in. And the slow actually hit both uh, Magmus and Parasite, which saved Lodestone. So. Yep, that it is. Uh, Mage Pain, by the way, do do we expect him to pick up the Rune Dogs here? Yeah, I think it's a must uh, as a single core uh, mage main. I think he's gonna pick it up as soon as he can here, and then just start split pushing as much as possible. Uh, obviously, that's gonna become harder and harder as soon as the game goes on because there is a behemoth, and that is the bane of all split pushing They're heroes. They're actually gonna get the defensive tower down here at the bottom, unless Laskader got something to say about it. He just got level six, by the way, so he might use this to get the an eye. Oh, good attempt on his part. It wasn't quite enough, but that was really mm -hmm. damn close. Could have been a big play right there. I mean, not sure if I agree with using the ulti to try and get the deny, but regardless, nice try there. If he would have gotten in, it would have been a really good, uh, a good play out, out of him. But yeah, so the ulti cooldown is. Haste, by the way, I'm not entirely sure what he's planning. He's gonna pop the ultimate right there, but that's not going to be enough. And I don't think that he's making the right decision. Yeah, chasing off there, he's gonna realize yeah, that. Yeah, parasite coming in, skeleton. Uh, is it going to be enough for the kill though? I don't think it's quite mm, enough. Yeah. What happened with the haste rune? Did it just run out? I think it ran out right before he ulti, and then uh, I believe someone stopped their TP. I'm not sure who that was. Um, Behemoth stopped his TP on bot, so not mm. sure if that was intentional, but yeah, probably not. I don't see any reason <laughs> for why, but uh, it happens even to the best. Sometimes it actually does. Uh, another tri stack or tri stack actions here now at least. Uh, Bunny Lover playing the Empath. This was the guy that I think he used to play for. He used to play for Reason Gaming, or the current Reason Gaming, uh, formerly known as... Sana? The Sana Esports? Yeah, it was Sana. Good job. Okay. Uh, Sona Esports, he used to play the mid role, but obviously as we can see here right here, he's transitioned into the support role. Uh, mm -hmm. Haven't really caught him in action so far, but um, I would assume that he is able to play his role quite well, so it shouldn't be any problems. Um, on that department. Shadowstorm is up once more on... Sh oh, there we go in the mid lane actually. They're gonna commit. Are they going to be able to get enough damage out with though? Like they have no physical damage whatsoever and Paris is gonna jump in. He's not gonna target, target the Samrath though. Um, Probus getting the return kill. Are they gonna be able to get the kill onto Parasite as well? Doesn't look like it. Hellbringer is deep. He needs to be careful. There's another Fisher in five seconds and it doesn't matter well-placed wall by Empath and down he goes. So the decision to use that many ultimates on a lodestone is very questionable to me. Yeah, I mean, once again it goes back to the synergy. They don't really have that much damage, they don't have that much lockdown. As you see, they led with the Malfoss in the Magma Stone, which is only about three seconds of lockdown. Um, it's not enough to kill a lodestone that has 1300 health, or about 1300 health, with a power supply on top of that. Um, also, the team just noticing that they were, he was getting gone on. They're going to TP in, they're going to use the Sandwraith ulti. Um, and then they're just going to turn the fight, so... Had good heads up play by uh, Fresh. Absolutely, well played on their part. Uh, Probusk, by the way, leading the gold per minute shard for the Hellborn team at least. Actually, it's Mage Pain leading the overall gold per minute shard. Uh, 411 gold per minute. And he's going to go for the Rune Dags, but Probusk is going to go for the Mock of Brilliance. And I would assume that those two items are 
quite equal when it comes to farming potential. Mm -hmm. uh, should probably be able to reach pretty much the same goal Top lane. Yeah, they're chasing the Magmas. He, he's got the Steam Buff available, but he wasn't using it. I'm not entirely sure if he was dusted. Um, yeah, uh, I believe he got dusted, and dust is on cooldown on the Empath, so... Good, uh, good pickup by Empath having dust. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how you can disjoint that, by the way. I, I do think that there are some potential with the Steam Buff to actually get out of the dust. So I feel like you should have at least attempted it. Because I know, for example, if you play like a Grinix or something, I mean, it's the most annoying thing in the world. Like, if he uses his Shadow Step, <laughs> he gets rid of the dust. And it makes uh -huh, it if he if he cues you like as you use it, yeah, because he's technically immune or something. Oh, there. is I don't that know. how it works? So you have to wait for him to actually use that shit or something, or you need to time uh, it if like, you're playing the Greenix. Yeah, mid air, like uh, in the stun animation, he can't be hit by the dust. So I I think that can happen with the lava surge. I'm not quite sure, but I I think Magma's suicide is kind of it's kind of one of the harder heroes to play. Um, as you can see, he doesn't have as much farm, nearly as much as the Behemoth. Who is closing in on a portal key in uh, about 130 gold? So oh, he's gonna man, pick it up right yeah. here. That is not good news if you're a Legion team. You, like Magmus level four, and this was, if I'm not mistaken, a Magmus that was pretty much second picked or something. Uh, or in the first three at least, they picked him Andromeda and the Mage Bane as fourth and five, four fifth at least. So them deciding to run this Magmus suicide versus an already picked Samrev and an Empath, like it's just. Ah, yeah, it doesn't speak to me too much. Uh, they're going to try to set something up here, but as we can see, there is already a warp side by Bunny Lover that's going to spot them out, and the, therefore the gank attempt is going to be unsuccessful. So yet another um, heads-up play by the Hellborn team. Yeah, Bunny Lover just smoked in to lay a ward in the Legion jungle. It's going to be good for catching Mage Rain out. Behemoth does have his PK now, so he can set up kills with the Sandraith ulti, I believe. Um, that would be enough damage to kill the mage main, so I think that's what they're going to be trying to do here, or they're going to try and take team fights, uh, since Lodestone is closing on a portal key also. Yeah, that uh, is definitely a possibility. Do we have a Veil Draught? Nope, we do not. Teltic does have a double damage rune, which he's lasted in the creeps with. Helping him out a little bit, but uh, I guess they could potentially go for us a little bit of a push or a team fight. But they don't really have any heroes that's good at sieging towers. It's literally mm -hmm. only the parasite in this game. I guess you can split push well with the Sandriff and the Mage Pain as well when it comes to the later stages of the game. But nobody was really good at taking towers in either team, so I think that this is going to be a long one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to break base against either team once Magmus gets his PK. Um, I do think Hellborn still have the advantage when it comes to team fights until maybe you get like the puzzle box three on the Parasite and then the Resto Stone on the uh, Hellbringer. Other than that, I think the Hellbring or the Hellborn lineup uh, definitely has the advantage just because of their heroes. So oh, yeah, we should see them trying to take some fights here soon, but we'll have to see. Yeah, Behemoth, of course, with his portal key, if you compare it to the Magmus, who was the Legion's choice of suicide hero, well, he still got a long way to go. He's not going to get his portal key even remotely close, and even if you get it, I mean, Magmus' portal key is kind of like something that you want... Well, I guess you can get it when you hit level 11, uh, but... Oh, what's going on down here? Tell took. Oh, there is the Behemoth, by the way, gonna jump in, gonna find Scary. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Blink on cooldown. Skeleton King going to be chased as well. Don't think it's going to be enough to actually get a kill onto Parasite, but Very two heroes already down. Lostone just picked up his PK. Might be able to catch you. We'll see. Yeah, maybe if no, it's probably not going to be enough. No. Striders, Behemoth chasing after, but no mana, so... I think they're more than happy with those two kills though, because now Probusk is only 500 gold per minute away from, or wait, 600 maybe, quick math, yeah, around 550 gold per minute away, uh, or 550 gold away from uh, mm -hmm. his mock of brilliance. Obviously Mageman just finished his rune cleaver, but uh, dying as it happens. Yep. That's the last thing you want to see happen as Mage Rain. You finish your rune dax and then now they all have their PKs, so it's going to be a lot harder for him to create space and split push like uh, you'd like to do on Mage Bane as a hero, so. And you can see a uh, Lodestone smoking bot. Parasite's just gonna miss him. Yep, and Slaska Jared is heading over as well. Yet another like coordinated gank. Yeah, and there are no words of sight to spot this, but yeah, Mage Bane is not gonna continue oh, pushing at puzzle least. Box. Got the ward. That's pretty good news for him. And yeah, actually gonna force Lodestone out of there, and he's gonna be spotted by the warp side now, so. 
Yeah, Mage Pain not doing too bad, even though he dropped that one kill or the, that one death. Still 400 gold per minute. I wonder if there's something stacked. Actions just get stacked, but it's only doubled so far. Uh, Hellborn Actions has actually been tripled now for quite some time. I don't think they've taken I, it them yet. Yeah, I'm not sure if they took it or not. Otherwise, that would be two triple stacks, which is a really good job by a Bunny Lover, uh, making sure those are stacked if that is the second time they're doing it. But it looks like Soft Horse is going to be going to Staff. Uh, I don't really get Icon on that hero. I don't think that's a very viable option, but there's some action going on. Yeah, there is. I'm drummed. I'm not entirely sure why the Legion team is committing to this. I feel like this is a bad choice. Uh, back round, Shatter Storm wow. and the Behemoth, of course. Lots of damage. Probusk already getting the double tap, and now Hellbringer is in trouble as well. I don't know. This just feels like frustration from the Legion team. Uh, the fact that they actually tried to break that cliff and get up to those actions, that was just... I don't know. That was not the right call whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, fighting in, they, they did have sight in the river, but they don't have sight on the Ancients, obviously. And and fighting into two PK heroes that are strong as Lodestone and Behemoth, it's not going to end well. And they didn't have Magmus there initially, so I'm not sure why they wanted to fight that, but it seems like they just forced it, and obviously it didn't work out for them. Nope, that it certainly didn't, and now they are so damn far behind, and they got a lineup that doesn't scream late game whatsoever. Actually, Teltuk though might have overstepped his welcome just a little bit. He got the Icon of Goddess already though, so he's really tanky, and a well-timed Rocket Drill is probably going to save him. There comes Slaskajet. Oh, not gonna get the Magnus, but he is gonna get the Andromeda at least. Um, so something right there. Shockwave was used though, so... That's something. Parasite in trouble. They're gonna pop the puzzle box. Rocket drill. Oh, we're gonna Oxen. hit just as he gets into the puzzle box smaller and he's gonna be fine at least for now. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I agree with the icon pick up on self wars. Honestly, it just it seems like he's just gonna be a target for the uh, mana rift now. Coming out from Mage Bane. Hmm. So Okay, I'm not that experienced with Lord of Forest in general, but Staff of the Master, like for all of us, or for those who don't know what it does, what exactly, I'm gonna check here, grants bonus health regen while this ability is active, gives you the soul of the target if it dies while under the effects of the undying, granting you bonuses based on the target's maximum health. What exactly does that even mean? Does he get more uh, health? So basically, the old self forest would get if the target died. Oh, you'd get hold a that thought, by the way, because the shatter storm and the sandwich ultimate as well. Yeah, this is this wow. is just snowballing out of control now. There's literally nothing the legion team can That's do about this. Gonna walk into them. Uh, he's much. inside his little creep, so he's feeling comfortable at least for now. They're gonna try to set something up, or they're chasing. They might get a kill on the empath, but ah. Uh, no damage whatsoever, and they, there's only the three melee heroes that's alive. Well, there's some Fisher, they are hitting two people. Mage Pain is still in here, he got a blink, of course, so he's gonna be able to get out of there. Parasite might not be as lucky as Teltec so picks up yet another really kill. Far. Yeah, I mean, he's just... GG is being called. Exactly. Like, he, they know for a fact that this one is over. I actually um, predicted this one to go into the distance, looking at the heroes and the fact they don't have too many sieging yeah. towers, but if you don't, like, if you throw two team fights in a row, then obviously it's gonna snowball out of control. Um, this was pretty much a replay of what happened last weekend, unfortunately, for 2-0. Uh, 50 minute concede, more or less, as we were talking about. Anything that 2-0 uh, could have done differently here, you think? Um, I just think their draft it didn't really fit that well in terms of the synergy between heroes. Um, they picked up Magnus. Usually Magnus wants to be ganking with uh, another hero, another uh, Blink Stun or, you know, Initiator, but... 